Galaxy Pirate Radio. This is our first special edition coming at you from TimeGate. I am with Lil, who I met uh, on the DragonCon YA track, and we're here to discuss Season 6 of Doctor Who, everything that's come so far, everything that might be coming, lots of spoilers, lots of speculation, and uh, go! Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, okay, well I just wanted to say, I don't think, I don't think they're really going to kill the Doctor, because that would be, I mean, right away the spoilers, but that would be, I think, Stephen Moffat way too much saying that Matt Smith is going to be the last Doctor. Oh, yeah, no, I, so, don't, I don't think that's... You know, he can't, I don't think he can reach out that far and say, oh, he's going to be it, so we're going to kill him. No, no, I mean, I just... It, it can't happen. So, I mean, speaking of the death of the Doctor, who do you think's in the suit? I don't know. I think it could be the child who I think is Amy's daughter. I think somehow she's Amy's child. Interesting. So I I think that it could be her. Um, I don't know. Somebody said it was the master. Was like, no, oh, it's not the I master. Think he's dead. I know. No, oh, master's not gone. He's not dead. Um, I. No, he's he's gonna be back. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's the master. I mean if you kill the master, you, you basically just need to kill the doctor. Um, but. I'll tell you who I think's in the space suit. I think it's the Doctor. So why do you think that? Why do you think that? Because being a writer, I think that would be the most most interesting uh, answer to the person inside the uh, in, inside the space suit. Do you think that could have something to do with the last episode? I think that is a total red herring, but it, it possibly could be. A lot of people are already speculating that online. I think that's too much of the obvious answer, but I do think it's the Doctor in the spacesuit. How, I don't know yet. But, I mean, that spacesuit's special, you know? Yeah. It, it's sort of like the Pandorica. We don't know if it could actually bring somebody back to life, but we know that it can at least keep somebody alive that's been injured. Hence, the, the girl. Yeah. But the girl, I mean, the last time we saw the girl, she was regenerating yes. like a time lord. Yeah, and that's why I don't think she's... Amy's daughter. But see, I think she's not, I don't think she's like Amy and Rory's daughter. I think somehow there's some, not as in, I don't even know how to explain it because I, I think that she has Amy's DNA. I think she's part of, of Amy, but I don't know how it all came about. That's interesting. I haven't heard that. I mean, I've heard people think it's Amy's daughter because she's special with the rift and everything, and that when she helped bring back the world, she kind of wanted to have the doctor's baby, and that's why it was a Time Lord. But I don't think that the little girl is Amy or Rory's daughter, or Amy and the doctor's daughter. I think that's too obvious. I think it's a past Time Lord that we have seen, and I think the silence had her in that spacesuit to keep her alive from regenerating because she was already in little girl form, much easier to control. Um, we have the TARDIS that was down below that they were using, and when the girl regenerated, she wasn't surprised, she wasn't shocked, she's just like, I'm dying, but that's okay. She knew about regeneration. But we still have, we still have the fact that Amy keeps, and we, they keep showing us again and again that Amy is pregnant. And, and not pregnant, yeah. yeah. So that's why I think that's going to come into play very strongly later on. Oh, I, I do too, but I, I think they're using the young girl that's regenerating as a red herring, making everybody believe that could be her daughter when it really isn't. But it's one of the things we've got to wait and see. I mean, I'm yeah. hoping it's either the Ronnie or River or Susan or Romana or any other number of Time Lords it possibly could well, be. Well, I mean, if you think of some of the other Time Lords we've met already, they would... They would have already been adults, right? The women? Yeah, so far. But the thing is, is a Time Lord could choose their form. They could regenerate back into a little kid. It's, okay, that's what I was... It's all up to them. Yeah. It, I mean, that's the reason why the Doctor's gone from old to young, young to old. You know, it's it's their choice sometimes. Sometimes it's random. But with the second Doctor story, um, when he regenerates, it was basically said they could choose what they look like. And then Ramona, she went through a few different incarnations before she settled on her next incarnation as Ramona. So, I mean, they can pick. Mm -hmm. And who knows, she might have been tricked. You know, she might have done that, turned into a kid to hide. Yeah. So, because a, a time lord can also choose to regenerate even if they're not mortally wounded. So, But I mean, she still seemed like she didn't know, know everything. Like, she knew it was okay that she was regenerating, but still not completely sure of what was going on when she was calling, on to Amy, calling out to Amy, like, when she was in the security orphanage or whatever. Yeah. Like, 
I mean, I don't know. Would a time lord have less information as a child if they regenerated as a child? They shouldn't because you, you still have the same personality, the same memories and everything. You just view all that information differently. Um, so, I mean, it's one of those things that I'm excited to see what, what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, there was another thing I was thinking about. I can't remember that. I, I guess just going to some a completely different thing. Um, River. I like how much more we're seeing River. Oh, yeah. Because I've always I've loved her, and I think I like her better than Amy. But Good guy or bad guy? Both. Was the doctor trying <laughs> to trap her in uh, the science of the library? Trap her? Yeah. Because, I mean, let's say she is a Time Lord, which has been speculated on, that once her memory faded from the thing, what's not to say that would have caused her body to regenerate, what if the doctor actually knew who she was, and he was trying to keep her trapped within the computer? But he's still saying he's the only Time Lord. Well, that he only thinks he's the only Time Lord. Because if you go back to the face of Bo, he said, you're not the only Time, you know, you're, you're well, not alone. The master. But he never said how many. And plus, come on, look how much trouble the doctor causes. If there were other Time Lords out there, do you really think they want to interfere with him? Well, but they, he seems so desperate to find them. He seems so desperate to find another Time Lord. And he's caused so much trouble for the Time Lords. Do they, you think... They would be hiding from him, Do you think I Reverend think. wouldn't know she's a Time Lord? I mean... Yeah. I mean, especially if she's... There's so many different theories about who River could be. Uh, um, let's say she was the Rani. Uh, you know, the evil, renegade female Time Lord. Why would she tell the doctor? It's not like they're like Highlanders and you know they yeah. feel the presence of the quickening when they're when they're in the presence of one another. I mean, they could hide. I mean, he had no idea that um, when he when Tenet went to the future that that was the master. It wasn't until the fact that the guy started regenerating that he was like, oh, that's the master. But if you think about whenever she dies in the science of the library, she doesn't really die. die. Goes into memory. Yeah. Fades. Whatever. She's at that point. She and the doctor have a good relationship. Are we sure? She made it sound like it. She could lie. It's true. I mean, come on, look at the doctor. What's the first thing, or what's the thing River I says about I the doctor? Like, I like River so much that I want her to be good. Yeah, I'm I not mean, saying she hasn't done bad things, yeah. but I, I would prefer that she would have told the truth in the science of the library. Well, you, you do realize we're getting to the point, the cliffhanger of the, of the first se half of the season, we find out supposedly who she kills. I didn't know we were that close, but... Yeah, we, we have this episode tomorrow night. Well, didn't at some point she almost made it sound like she killed the doctor? Well, the greatest man she ever knew. Could that be her father? Could it be the doctor? Could it be somebody else that we haven't met yet? Or maybe someone who we have? Um, there's a lot of mystery there, which makes her a very interesting character. Yeah. So who do you think she is? Do you have any speculation about who, who she is? I guess I have never read anything about her being... A Time Lord, so I always took her at face value. I always took her as she's River. Well, I mean, that's that's a good thing. There's but something with that interpretation. You have to, I mean, now that I'm thinking about the possibility of her being a Time Lord, how long she's been around, how much she keeps, like, showing up. Yeah. And this sort of almost unchangingness. Yeah. You know, that's like, oh, that's that could be really interesting. Yeah. But I still want her to be, I don't know, not, not necessarily evil, because I kind of like the way she's sort of got this bad guy side to yeah. her. She'll suddenly... She can do things like when she was shooting yeah. the silence. And, and, and look that was at the, really cool. And look at the dialect in in the last in the two parter. She's like, you know, my name is. You you know, he's like, you're a companion of the doctor. You will not kill me. And she tells him his name or tells the dialect her name, and it freaks out. So I mean, that tells you. Yeah. I mean, she she's very infamous at some point. So how would the like whenever um she. I guess back to the silence in the library, she yeah. tells the doctor she knows his name. Well, so she, do you think that could be a Time Lord thing? Because exactly, Time Lords would know each other's names? That, and also supposedly it's not his name is not pronounceable in a human tongue. Um, and, I mean, I don't know how complex speaking Gallifrey, Gallifreyan is. Gallifreyan? Yeah, I mean, so we it's one of those things we just don't know yeah. yet. Um, which, I mean, I, I like the character. And actually, speaking about River, and the fourth episode of the season, the Neil Gaiman episode. Oh my gosh! And awesome. what what Idris tells Rory? Oh, 